What's up? My name is Technobi here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be talking about a common Steam issue that you could be experiencing that is very annoying to say the least. This usually happens on an unstable internet connection or in certain regions, the issue will appear and randomly disappear. This video will cover a few fixes and workarounds, though more than likely it's just situational and it'll fix itself anyways. For me, I'm pretty sure it's because I have a new internet provider that's definitely much, much worse than my previous. Anyways, inside of Steam here on the download section, you can see this error, content servers unreachable. And of course, when I try to download, absolutely nothing happens at all, or maybe something happens. And then shortly after it just dies out once again. As you can see, this is working now. And in fact, it works pretty well. I downloaded two gigs, then I got this error, restarted Steam, downloaded the next eight, error, and here I'm getting the same thing, or at least I would think. Anyways, there's a couple of things that we can do to try and fix this. First of all, click Steam in the top left, then click Exit. When Steam closes completely, reopen it from your start bar or wherever you have a shortcut to it and start your downloads again. Don't worry, all of the progress will be saved. That's usually the simplest fix. And if you're downloading a much bigger game on a much slower connection, this of course can't be something you do over and over again if you keep getting this issue. The next simplest solution is to click Steam in the top left, then Settings, and head across to the Downloads tab here. Then Download Region, you should have the closest location to you selected here. From the drop down, I have South Africa, Johannesburg, and South Africa, Cape Town. These are on pretty much different ends of the country. For me, I'll be selecting the further away one if the closest one is already selected. Otherwise, select the closest one to you if it's not already selected. Beyond that, you may want to look for a nearby country if your servers aren't working well at all. Though that's very situational, and this will usually only be an issue when everyone's awake and everyone's trying to download. It's not often the Steam servers become overrun with too many people, but it is possible and it has happened before. As long as this is the closest to you, it's probably fine. Make sure that all of these here are set as such, unless you're specifically trying to limit bandwidth. And of course, if downloads aren't running while you're playing games, you'll need to tick this here. Otherwise, you'll just need to click resume once you launch up a game. Other than that, nothing is stopping us. There's no time set here and there's no bandwidth limit for me. What else can we try? Well, beyond this, there's only a few things that I can think of. First of all, making sure that our DNS servers are reliable. Most ISPs, or at least a lot of them, will have their own DNS servers to try and speed things up. Basically, you shout at them, hey, give me google.com and I'll give you back a bunch of numbers telling your PC exactly where to go to. Oftentimes, these are outdated or just don't really respond in a timely manner. We can change these to more reliable DNS servers that are often faster to do so. On Windows 11, simply right-click the Ethernet icon or wireless icon on the bottom right of your screen and click Network and Internet Settings. Otherwise, you'll basically need to open up the Settings window and navigate to the Network and Internet section, then the way that you're connected to the Internet. In my case, Ethernet. On Windows 11, this will look a bit different for you. You'll have this section here, DNS Server Assignment, and it'll probably be automatic. Click Edit, set it to Manual from the drop-down, Enable IPv4, and for the preferred DNS, set it as 1.1.1.1. This is Cloudflare's DNS. Then for alternative, 8.8.8.8. .8 this is Google's DNS. Usually I find these are the fastest, though the other way around may be a little bit faster for you in your region. Click Save. Now, if you're on Windows 10, you may have more luck in the control panel. Head across to Network and Internet, then Network and Sharing Center, Click the way that you're connected to the internet, in my case, Ethernet 3. And from this box, click Properties. Scroll down on this list until you see Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4. Click it and then click Properties. Inside of here, we'll see the same thing. We'll choose Use the following DNS server addresses and set the preferred to 1111 and alternative to 8888. Here, however, you'll need to type in one character and hit space to jump across to the next slot. It's a little bit weird, but it's pretty simple to go through. When you're done, click OK, close, close, and you can close the control panel as well. At this point, you can either restart your PC or hold start and press R. Inside of here, type in CMD and then hit enter. Then type in ipconfig space slash flash DNS to flash anything you have cached on your PC, which is the aforementioned google.com points to this number. This way, your PC will get fresh results. Then, once again, inside of Steam, click Steam, exit, 
and restart Steam. Hopefully, things should have improved for you at this point. Now, if you have an unstable internet connection, it's usually best to hop across to Ethernet if possible, if you're using wireless, or move closer to the router at least. And finally, if you think something between you and the actual Steam servers is having an issue, something you can do is restart your router, which may or may not help, or if you have access to, use a VPN. This can be from any provider. Basically, it's just to get a different route to the Steam servers. Connecting to the same country that you're currently in will usually add pretty much no ping and keep your download speeds relatively fast, assuming you have a relatively good VPN provider. Though, of course, it's definitely not necessary at all. As previously mentioned, this issue usually fixes itself, so just have patience. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!